Today, I'll be answering some of the most recent questions in Reddit about marketing. Okay, so r slash ask marketing. Um, Sensei Mike asks the term product market fit. Uh, hi guys, I want to get your opinion on this term. I've been working in marketing for a little over eight years now, mostly with big brands nationally or internationally, and I went to an event recently at a startup incubator where they interviewed the CEO of a pretty big company now about how he started the biz and scaled up. The interviewer kept asking about things pertaining to product market fit, which while I understood what she meant sounded super strange to me. Um, I never heard the term before in my life. I feel like it's a nice way of saying invent stuff and throw it into as many markets as possible until someone likes it in the market you got lucky in with success. That's the one to target, which seems wildly inefficient to me. Shouldn't these startups be more strategic and understand consumer needs first and invent from there? Rendering the phrase product market fit redundant. Wondering what you guys think. Um, yeah, product market fit is a very common buzzword in, in the startup um, industry. Um, basically, product market fit is what startup is vying for um, in order to increase the odds of success. So product market fit um, essentially addresses um, the demand of the market in general. It is a must-have, something that the alternative product cannot provide. Um, it is something that when you pull out of the market, majority, if not all, of the customer will be really, really disappointed. That's why it's a must-have. It's so good to the point that uh, your customers will become the salesperson. So that's, that's how good that it is. I agree with your last uh, statement here that um, startups should be more strategic and understand consumer needs first. Um, I agree with you um, on the marketing sense. Uh, this is what things should be because marketing cannot really fix an awful product. That's, that's one of the uh, things I try to put out there. And um, so yeah, when you said that um, invent stuff and throw it into as many markets as possible until someone likes it. So this part right here is the complete opposite of the product market fit. It's not a one size fit all. Um, you can, I remember this one uh, talk um, I viewed, uh, I forgot, but um, there's this one startup that says um, his product is a painkiller. Um, not the vitamins. I mean, that's how he positioned the product because vitamins is Well, it's a supplementary um, It's nice to have but people cannot live with painkillers or without painkillers. So From that concept, I think it fully encapsulates what product market fit is So thank you for sticking out all the way to the end of the video uh, by the way, I'll be starting a marketing support playlist whereby I'll be answering uh, most common questions um, asked by practitioners and business owners and those people who wanted to get, to, get, to get a head start in the digital marketing career. So the reason why I'm doing this is because I wanted to give back to the community. Um, I remember 10 years ago when I was just starting, I spent an awful amount of time in in Yahoo Answers and Cora, so this is my way of sort of uh, giving my my um, solutions and and strategies and advice for those who are struggling with digital marketing. So uh, to subscribe to my uh, YouTube channel, and if you learned something new or that if you got in any tips through my uh, videos, uh, feel free to share and also hit the like button. Uh, that's all and I'll see you in my next video.